Today is a difficult day for all of us at News 4. As you may know, we lost our colleague, our friend, reporter Catherine Craig, and she suddenly passed away just last night. Cat Craig welcomed so many of you on Today in New York with that big, magnetic smile. Her joy and her warmth made all of us feel special every single day. She was a wife, a mother, and a friend. And News 4's Andrew Siff spent some time with our reporters and photographers today as they shared their memories about what Cat meant to all of us. There's so much happening here. Catherine Craig, known to us all here as Cat, doing just Wednesday what she did every day at News 4 for more than a decade. Reporting live, Catherine Craig, News 4 New York. Reporting the news with remarkable energy for someone who woke up. A part of the street just reopened about 20 minutes ago. Each morning, activated its command center at 1 a.m. We'll send it back to you, darling. Cat was a light. And she had this very special spirit and energy about her. And I think, um, you know, she just came into your space and you were just immediately uplifted because no matter what, she was always in a good mood. A sudden shock to all of us at News 4 when Kat passed away Wednesday night after suffering a medical condition. She was only 47. Born in the Philippines, the 1996 NYU grad had been married to Bill for 14 years. She's the mother of three kids, Jack, Gemma, and Josie. We had kids together. You know, we had fun together. We worked together. We laughed together. And we've cried together. And it just blows my mind that I don't have a cat to laugh with anymore. Tracy Strahan, who also worked the same shift for a show we call Tiny, that stands for Today in New York. I realize how much people thought of us as a team. You know, you think of one, you think of the other. And that's, it's an honor for me. Kat's versatility, tough to match. She covered countless somber stories. The lot was locked up when that fire broke out. Michael, we'll send it back to you. I think the thing when I think about Kat is, she brought joy to her job every day. She was serious when she needed to be. Every now and then, Cat could be Cat on one of her live shots. And I remember last week, she was at the shore, the Jersey Shore, and she had snow goggles on. It's a great ski day or a day to be out on the boardwalk, Brandon. She had loads of holiday spirit and loved building human pyramids with coworkers and her ingenuity in the field, unforgettable. At the women's soccer ticker tape parade in 2019, players and coaches followed Kat's lead and took the mic to share the joy. It's a, it's a dream come true. The smile was always there and she was always reminding everybody to be grateful for what they had. And that's something that I will always remember her for and I will take with me and I will try to remind myself to be grateful every day because this world is not going to be the same without her. Her upbeat spirit, almost like a superpower. But if she was Wonder Woman, she had the backing of a super camera crew, Freddie Luna and Neil Astro. I would call her Casey. I said, Casey, you have the uncanny ability of being the happiest person that I've ever known and that, that anybody could ever be. And I would sometimes I'd be frustrated. I said, how? You're so happy all the time. How do you do it? And she would just say, oh, you could do it. It's easy. It couldn't have been easy, even though she joked about it on social media. Her Twitter bio, sleep, what's that? I go to work when you're coming home from the club. Imagine the actual effort in the hours before sunrise of working that grueling shift and then going home to parent hard the rest of the day. She's the gold standard. You're operating on adrenaline and no sleep uh, just about every day. But it's harder to be a mother on this shift. I told my partner, Freddie, you and I are very lucky. We need to never forget that. I enjoyed every moment working with her.